Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I wanted to talk to you about four different ways that you can upload resources to a JFrog artifactory repository. So the first way to do it is to simply do it manually. The artifactory admin console, if you log into the tool, you can select your snapshot or your regular repository. And if you do that, there's a little button that says deploy. All you have to do is drag and drop your jar file or zip file onto the web console there. The file will automatically get uploaded. And if your file contains a POM file, all of the different information associated with the Maven component will be automatically configured for you. So that's a fun approach. It's certainly a, an easy way to verify your Artifactory installation. It's not a very automated process. So for automation, you want to might want to go to one of the other three steps. So a second option is to simply use the RESTful API. This is a great way to integrate uploading of a jar file or a zip file with perhaps a, a batch file or a shell script. Also, if you've got really large files, sometimes you have to use the RESTful API in order to upload them is sometimes you know, some of the other tools have some sort of a, a limit on the size that you can upload. And so there you can see a, a curl script calling the RESTful API with a put invocation and a jar file as the payload. I've also got plain text admin and password in there. So you might want to uh, encrypt that, make sure you're using SSL or, or just do something clever to make sure that no one's going to see your username and password in there. But for a, a simple example, that should be good enough. Now, people like to use Maven to build their applications, and then they uh, might as well use Maven to push the applications they build to a Maven repository. So it's good to know that, well, there's an Artifactory plugin for Maven that you can use and your developers can use that plugin, configure it with information about the URL of their Artifactory repository and upload the files that they create as part of their Maven build to the Maven Artifactory repo. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind, you know, you probably don't want developers doing this. You probably want some sort of continuous integration process to do verifications and quality control and those types of tasks and then push to Artifactory. So I don't know, I might want to neuter the developer's ability to push to Artifactory and maybe try and control that through a continuous integration build which then takes us to the, the fourth option, which is to use an Artifactory plugin that goes into a continuous integration tool like Jenkins. So you can install the Jenkins Artifactory plugin quite easily. It's just done through the Jenkins Administrative Console. When you do that, you quickly configure it as a system resource inside of Jenkins. And then as soon as you do a build, you can just point to your Artifactory repository, point to the release and the snapshot repositories that you can push to. Um, and it's just as simple as that. When your Jenkins build job completes, if everything runs successfully, well, the jar file or zip file or whatever artifact that you create will automatically get uploaded to Artifactory. So as you can see, Artifactory is a great little tool to use and it provides a, a number of ways to upload files to it that really should appeal to any of your Artifactory upload needs.